<laughs> Hi, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Hi, Andrew. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Fine. Very good. Okay, that's nice to hear that. Did you work in the platform? ¿Han trabajado en la plataforma? ¿Cómo van con eso? Sí. Okay, that's that awesome. Yo el examen. Awesome, fantastic. The two of them, mm -hmm. los dos? Uh, I think. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. El one, eh, está el primero después de la sección 3, que es el midterm exam, y luego uh -huh. después de la sección 5 está el final. Ah, pues no, solo uno. Ok. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Entonces, sí, recuerden eso. Bueno, ahorita estamos justamente a mitad del módulo. Ok. Entonces ya deberíamos estar eh, terminando el midterm exam, el que está después de la sección 3. Y pues avanzando lo más que se pueda para que no vayan a tener inconvenientes eh, con la finalización de su módulo para obtener su certificado y demás. ¿Verdad? Eh, okay. Comentarles siempre, ¿verdad? Que la asistencia es... Um, muy importante, también es requisito, al igual como eh, la completación de los ejercicios de la plataforma con un mínimo del 8, 80%, para que puedan obtener su certificado. Bien, ayer estábamos viendo las preposiciones del lugar y nos quedamos en este ejercicio precisamente. No, no sé si la mayoría lo terminó. ¿O no lo terminaron? Acá. ¿Sí ven mi pantalla? Sí. Ok. ¿Terminaron este ejercicio? No, teacher. No. Ok. Bueno, no los puedo poner en grupo porque no saldrían con la misma gente que estaban ayer igual. So, les voy a dar unos minutos eh, para que lo completen y les voy a dejar eh, acá siempre a la mano lo de las preposiciones para que recuerden y cómo se utilizan. El acuerdo está marcado con una X eh, donde nos muestra el lugar, el significado de cada preposición. Y pues eh, creo que se hace muy... Bueno, ahí queda el ejercicio completo para que vean. Ok. Y luego es ir completando, ver el mapa, buscar los lugares en el mapa y completar las oraciones usando on, on the corner of, across from, next to, o between, dependiendo de cómo esté la ubicación del lugar según el mapa. Y guiándonos también con lo que está de la, las partes que están de la oración. Así que le voy a dar unos minutos y luego pues vamos a revisar las respuestas.
Okay, um, let's check your work. Um, let's see if the number one is already done. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see and we check the answers here. Okay, so as you can see, the number one, it was already done and we did it yesterday. It was the coffee shop is on 2nd Avenue. It's next to the shoe store. Uh, do we have a volunteer for the number two? Volunteer, the movie theater. Is in the corner of Park and Main. Mm -hmm. It's next to the park. Maybe. <laughs> okay, it was like the movie theater is on Park and Main. And it's across from okay. the park. But it's, it's okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Está bien. It's across from the park. Ahí, eh, usted en la primera dijo, it's on the corner, the corner of, of, pero park. también es válido. Ok. Yeah, porque sí está en la esquina. Uh, park and Main. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's ok. So, okay. it's across from the park. Good job. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer for number three, the gas station. The gas station is across from the parking. The parking lot is on the corner of Fields and Center. Okay, let's see. Excellent. That's the answer. That was correct. The gas station is across from the parking lot. It's on the corner of Main uh, of First and Center. Yes, that was correct. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number four, volunteer. The post office. The post office. The post office. Post office. It's on the corner of center and second. It's next to the hospital. See, that is correct. Excellent. Thank you so much. And uh, number five. Number five, the bank is between the restaurant and the, and the department store. It's on Main Street. Uh-huh, okay, very good. The bank is between the restaurant and the department store. It's on Main Street. Yes, that's the answer. Thank you so much for your participation. You did a very good job. Uh, ¿Cómo sienten el tema? Is it easy, difficult? What do you think? So-so. So-so. <laughs> So-so. Okay, so for more practice, we have this exercise. We can practice asking where are these places on the map. Podemos hacer un poco más de práctica tomando estas oraciones como ejemplo eh, y preguntar por estos lugares. Where is the park? Por ejemplo, where is the park? It's between park and first. It's across from the department store. Okay. Uh, podemos preguntar, where is the drugstore? Where is the bookstore? Where is the hospital? Where is the shoe store? Eh, busquemos estos lugares y hagamos eh, oraciones similares a las que tenemos en el ejemplo, en el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer. Déjenme ver en la presentación cómo lo tenemos. 
Augusta. Hey, next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Ay. Okay, here we are. Esto es el ejercicio. Tenemos que preguntar, where is the park? Where is the drugstore? Where is the bookstore? Where is the hospital? And where is the shoe store? And make sentences. Hacer oraciones similares al ejercicio que acabamos de hacer. Y pues lo podemos hacer en grupo. Para que haya, sea más dinámico. Vamos a hacer los breakout rooms. Sí, está, está. Ay, Dios santo. Hola, hola. ¿Hay alguien más? Claudia. Teresita. Hola, hola, hola. Buenas noches. Hola, hola. hola Teresita. ¿Y ¿Quién pone la... Lo captura, ahorita voy yo. Espérenme. Vaya, pues. Que estés. Ahí estamos. Vaya. Where is the drugstore? ¿Dónde está la farmacia? No la veo. Supermarket, movie theater, pero el drugstore. Alguien que me diga dónde está. <ríe> Cuando la encontremos. ¿Por qué no lo encontramos? <risa> no. Ah, pues sí, digámosle. The drugstore is ah, out, aquí está. Is out aquí está, está, the map. <risa> está supermarket. Está a la parte de supermarket. It's next to uh -huh. the... the supermarket. Ah, my, entonces. Dice, it's between... It's... What is... In... Entonces, where, is the, where is the drugstore? Drugstore, la farmacia, ¿dónde está la, la farmacia? Uh -huh. Está um, next to, next to the supermarket. No. Uh -huh. It's next to. Next to. Next to the supermarket. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, where is the bookstore? The bookstore. Bookstore. Okay, bookstore. 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 Where is the bookstore? Ah. 
Bookstore. Bookstore. Aquí está, está en la esquina superior derecha. Acabar en la esquina está. está bookstore. Ah. Ajá. Ajá, ajá. Está. Bookstore. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. It is in the corner. Digamos que está, quiero ver. Pero eh, ahí tendríamos que utilizar el is on, no, solamente it is. Ajá, creo que iría siempre el it, it is. It is. It is on the corner, on the corner. O... Sí, porque la es la preposición, va on the corner. Pero en de... In the corner, el otro que es donde está la bandera de Estados Unidos. En el corner of post es office. Post office. On the corner, on the corner, sí, on the corner, sí, sí, on the corner of. Esa sería, on the corner of. On the corner of, pero como eh, tendríamos que decir the corner of. Center Street. Quiero ver. Center Street. Sí, porque ahí pasa. Ahí está. Vamos a ver. Entonces quedaría eh, en el corner, en el corner, eh, corner, corner, oh, corner of center, center street. The street. Ah, okay. Is on the corner, the corner, corner mm -hmm. of the oh. corner of. Vamos a ver. Where, where is the hospital? Vaya, ahora vamos con el otro. Um, the hospital. The, where is the, the hospital? Hospital. Uh, the hospital. Uh, porque ese sí está UAS Post Office. Ah, the hospital. Podría between, ser que sea en medio. Between gas station, yes, yes. Between gas station and uh, post office. Central Street. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. Ah, no, pero, pero está en la First Avenue también, ¿verdad? Bueno, pero como estamos diciendo, entra en esa es la calle principal. Between, ¿verdad? Okay. Stay between. Uh -huh. It is between uh, gas station. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. And post office. Post office. Mm, okay. okay. Where is the part? Where is the, the shoe store? store? Shoe store. Que está, ya lo vieron. Shoe, ¿Dónde está el shoe store? Yeah. The shoe is. Is on Second Avenue? No. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's on Second Avenue from, from the supermarket. No. No. Uh, uh, movie. Ah, uh, uh, from next to the supermarket and in front of. Ah, in front. Uh -huh. Movie no, theater. I... Next to the supermarket. It's the same. Same. The front or next. 
porque el, el cine está enfrente, pero el otro está a un lado. Entonces, el que está a un lado, uh -huh. next to, in front of, in front, es enfrente de, del cine. Uh -huh. Avenue. Es on Second Avenue. From. 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 Second from. 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 And from to movie. From to From to, from to movie, movie, theater. Bye bye. Va. La revisamos, si ¿Se gustan. Va. La primera, la segunda, la, 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 el drugstore, donde dijimos, it's next to the next supermarket. To the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Mm. Where is the bookstore? Mm -hmm. The drug bookstore, it is on the corner of Center Street. Center Street. Why? Cuatro. Where is the hospital? The hospital. Mm -hmm. It is between gas station and pass and office. Pass office. Mm -hmm. Y what is the shoes store? Yo creo que esa nos quedó bastante larga, ¿verdad? Hospital, the uh, shoe store. Ah, sí, uh -huh. sí. Sure. This, it is on Second Avenue, next to the supermarket. Um, from to movie theater. Bueno, a ver cómo nos va. Tiempo, está bien. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Adiós. thanks, thanks. Okay. The teacher come back. Yes. Did you complete the exercise? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, yes. good. So we're going to check what you have. All right. The one for the park is already done. So we're going to start with the drugstore. A volunteer to tell where is the drugstore? It's on the second <laughs> avenue next to the supermarket. It's on second avenue next to the supermarket. supermarket. Okay, very good. Yes, that's one option. Anybody else? It's across from the bookstore. It's on the corner of the second and center. Okay, that's another option. Very good. Any other volunteer? Or we move. Let's move with the bookstore. Where is the bookstore? Uh, 
Uh, the bookstore, it is between gas station and post office. Mm -hmm. No, the bookstore. Oh. Yeah, the bookstore. Book uh -huh. Ah, the bookstore, the book, bookstore. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, it is on the corner of Central Street. Mm -hmm. It's on the corner of Center Street. Okay, good. Okay. También podían decir it's mm -hmm. across from the post office. Mm -hmm. That's another option. Okay. It's on Second Avenue también. So hay muchas formas de decir las direcciones. Mm -hmm. So si tenían esas opciones también por ahí están bien. Now let's see where is the hospital. The hospital is between from the gas station and post office. Ah uh, yes, excellent. It's a between gas station and the post office. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice job. Okay. Uh, and the last one, the shoe store. Where is the shoe store? Where is the shoe store? The shoe store is next to coffee shop. Uh huh. It's next to the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. And it can be, uh, it is on Second Avenue next to the supermarket and from to the movie theater. On um, Second Avenue, está bien. El supermarket no, 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 no está así como mm. next to. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, across from the movie theater. Mm -hmm. mm. Ahí sí estaría bien. Mm. Muy bien. Entonces, La idea era que vieran que se puede decir de, de diferentes formas. No hay como que um, solo una para ir que um, haciéndolo muy complicado. Es más fácil de lo que pensamos. Se puede decir de diferentes maneras las direcciones. Y vamos a seguir practicando e incrementando el vocabulario. Y para el contexto de lo que viene, tenemos las top tourist attractions in New York City. Estas son las atracciones turísticas más importantes o las más visitadas de Nueva York. Para que pues vamos a, a, a escuchar la pronunciación y ya para que nos quede en contexto de qué estamos hablando en la conversación y en el video que viene. Vamos a ver. Ok, esas son. Y se las puse aquí porque pues salen en la conversación y, y en el Grammar Focus son mencionadas, el Times Square, el Rockefeller Center y todas estas se mencionan ahí pues para que tengamos eh, mayor eh, visión de lo que estamos hablando o a qué nos referimos. Vamos a escuchar y pues claro pueden repetir en casa. Page 89, Exercise 7, Snapshot. Top Tourist Attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building. Grand Central Terminal. Central Park. Times Square. Rockefeller Center. The Statue of Liberty. Okay. Lo voy a poner un, una vez más y lo voy a pausar porque si estaba un poco rápido como para repetir, ¿verdad? Entonces así le doy chance que escuchen y luego repitan. Page 89, Exercise 7, Snapshot. Top Tourist Attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building. Grand Central Terminal. Central Park.
Times Square. Rockefeller Center. The Statue of Liberty. Good. Now let's watch the video in the platform. Vamos a ver el siguiente tema. Es la conversación. Is it far from here? Aquí en la conversación y en el um, en el grammar focus se mencionan estos lugares que acabamos de practicar. So, vamos a escuchar, a poner atención al video y después vamos a practicar. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. For answers, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary, turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, 
turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Let's see, the first thing is the conversation, right? And then the vocabulary. So let's begin with the conversation. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we have it. I'm going to play the conversation and then I'm going to pause after each interaction to give you a chance to repeat at home. Page 89, exercise eight, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where, where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Page 89, Exercise 8, Conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, questions? Alguna pregunta sobre el vocabulario, la pronunciación? No questions? Teacher, una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Ahí donde dice ma'am, ¿cómo se dice? Ma'am. Mm -hmm. Ma'am. Es como una forma corta de decir madame. Mm -hmm. Sí, es a French word. Es una palabra francés, pero la utilizan en inglés. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Is uh, St. Patrick or St. Patrick? St. Patrick. Okay. 
Any other question? Okay, if there are no more questions, I'm going to create the breakout room so you can practice this conversation. Teacher, y ahí cómo se pronuncia donde dice Rocker, Rocker. Es Rocca, como Rocca, Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center. Thank you. You're
Right, do we have volunteers to practice the conversation? Okay. Okay, I got one. Yeah, yeah. Hi, teacher. And Liz. Okay, good. Which one? Okay, I am tourist. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? How do you get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 5th Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And what is the Empire State Building? It is far from here. It's right behind you. Just, just turn around and look up. Okay, very Thanks. well done. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, good job. I only heard in this one, I remember is fifth. La pronunciación de esta palabra es tal cual está escrita ahí, fifth. Just walk up Fifth Avenue. Y esta también la pregunta, esta es un poquito, how do I get, según de todo, how do I get to, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Es un poquito complicado al principio, pero con, con práctica van a lograrlo. How do I get to, how do I get to, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? And de ahí todo lo demás, todo bien. Y pues felicidades, pensé que iban a, a quedarse aquí en building. Esta palabra mucho les cuesta, pero te lo hicieron muy bien, building. Nice job. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's see if we have another two volunteers. Aquí estoy. Okay, yo, y Alejandro. I, y yo. Hay <laughs> emperatriz. Emperatriz, okay. Thank you so much. Teacher, I... El... Do that. Is uh, behind you or behind you? Uh, usually behind, behind. Pero la señora como que lo pones behind you en la conversación. Pero se vale de ambas. Uh -huh. Behind. Depende you. del okay. acento, muchas veces del lugar, de las personas, pero sí. So, puede decir behind or behind, como a usted le parezca más fácil. A mí se me hace más fácil behind. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 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 Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick Cathedral? Just walk up Fixed Avenue to 15th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it, is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right. Across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Look up. Okay, look very up. good. Thank you so much. Okay. You did a very nice job. Remember here is look up. Igual se une también, ¿verdad? Look up. And look up. And the other one is, I think it's, that will be it for you too. Excellent, thank you so much. Another two volunteers? Rosario y a volunteer to Voy con Rosario, entonces. Okay, Alejandro, thank you so much. Espero no equivocarme. No se preocupe que para eso estamos aprendiendo. Si se equivoca, pues mejoramos eso, that's fine. <laughs> Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? It's well, at Five Avenue, 15 Street, St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Valley? Is it far from here? It's right. When you to run to storm and look up. Look up. Look up. Okay, very good. And remember, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Mm -hmm. It's un poquito porque es como 
turn around, turn around. And in here, remember numbers, uh, con los números, acuérdense que aquí es 50. Ajá, 50. And porque si decimos 15 es 15. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. And here, remember is building. Building. The pronunciation is building. But yeah, good job. So unfortunately, um, time is over. Mañana vamos a practicar y voy a agregar un ejercicio para que practiquen porque ese mapa que está ahí es como, como está bien confuso. Entonces voy a poner otro ejercicio para que practiquen dando direcciones utilizando las frases que vimos ahora en el video. Eso lo dejamos para mañana y comenzaríamos la sección 4. Ok. So, thank you okay. for joining and I Con hope... Un mapa de El Salvador de ser posible, teacher. Well, un mapa de El Salvador. Un mapa de San Salvador de ser posible. <laughs> del centro. Por favor. Del centro. Ay, no, Dios mío. <laughs> de Soya. <laughs> del mercado central. <laughs> ok. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.